date of photograph 4 13 13 start time of photography session 7 29 p.m. Central end of photography session 7 36 p.m. Central sunset on 4 13 7 29 p.m. Central for over the last week northern Illinois has been under a persistent low pressure system which has put all photography efforts of Planet X temporarily on hold. Unfortunately, when the weather does cooperate, the aerosol sprayers are out to obscure the sunset. Recently, between the poor weather conditions and chem sprayers, the opportunity to photograph Planet X is approximately one out of every 10 days. Combine that with a very short appearance window of Planet X, 10 minutes at best, you can understand this is a challenging pursuit. On 413 the skies were mostly cloudy and I did not have much hope for success. Fortunately there was a slight break in the clouds and Planet X was visible between 729 p.m. and 736 p.m. Central. Notice that at 729 p.m. the Sun was set so what Ever was photographed after 7.29 p.m. was not the sun. My photos clearly show an object or objects in the western sky after sunset. So logically, whatever is visible is not the sun. The images were taken with two separate Nikon digital SLRs with different lenses. The 400 millimeter lens was used at f5.6 ISO 200 handheld resting on a window of a car door. The lighting proved very difficult and exposure was a challenge. The only available light was the afterglow of the Sun and whatever reflection occurred off Planet X. One light effect which is noticeable from Planet X is the Sun's reflection. It causes a deep vibrant orange glow that at times is very noticeable and visible to the naked eye. Take notice of the two darker bands on the planet as well as the fact that the image appears behind the clouds after sunset. With images taken on two different cameras with two different lenses after sunset. As environmental conditions allow I will continue to investigate this intruder now visible in our western skies.